Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, those who believe in Allah and who are sincere in that belief, no one can rival or match the love that they have for Allah Azza wa Jal. And the Sahaba radiyallahu anhum were a supreme example of that. Now we, as I said, we all love and we all love for different reasons. And because of that love, we make great sacrifices. We may not immediately accept this, but even imagine a person sometimes in the name of love or out of a claim of love, a person even sacrifices one's whole family. A man meets a woman. Hitherto they were total strangers. No blood relationship. They don't belong to the same family. In fact, they were completely unknown to each other, total strangers. They profess love for one another. Maybe it's true, maybe it isn't. Maybe they are deluded, maybe it's genuine. But in that love, both of them are willing to abandon their families and their backgrounds and almost everything that they were associated with till today. There have been kings who have willingly, when faced with a choice, abdicated the throne. Because the law, the constitution, or the climate didn't permit them to ascend the throne whilst being married to a particular woman. They had to make a choice, renounce their love or renounce their throne. And kings have been known to renounce their throne and go away and live in exile. Allah and his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have taught us that the greatest love that a person can have, should have, is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And once a person loves someone or something, they love those <coughs> things and people who are associated with that beloved of theirs. And if someone loves Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will love those that Allah loves. And out of the whole of creation, the most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most honoured, is undoubtedly the noble messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.